For far too long, we've sat idly by. It's time for change. To take back what's ours and bend it to our will. It's time for the Pirate Council. After nine long, grueling months, season 10 has finally come to Sea of Thieves, and it starts tomorrow. This update will be bringing guilds up first, combat changes, a PvP voyage in November, and PvE-only safer seas in December. I'll have more videos on the latter editions later this season, but today we're here to talk about how you, the person watching this right now, might be solely responsible for the biggest power grab in multiplayer gaming history. But we'll get to that in due time. First, let's talk guilds. So I've always wanted guilds to be a thing in Sea of Thieves, but I always imagined them to be a much broader concept instead of the intimate 24 player only version that we're getting from Rare this season. To me, guilds should be a catalyst for pirate politics across the seas. Large guilds spreading their influence, making alliances, and more importantly, making enemies. After five years, Sea of Thieves still has majorly untapped potential as a platform for player stories and interactions, not to mention the roleplay potential in one of the most beautiful games out there. So in season 10, I am taking it upon myself with your help to create the version of guilds that we deserve. Today, I am officially announcing the Pirate Council, Sea of Thieves' largest guild and pirate court. Each week on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central Time, 13 members will meet in-game at the Reaper Lair Inner Sanctum and vote on mandates for the following week that all members must follow and are in force on the seas. For example, maybe all boats located in the wilds will be sunk on site unless they pay a tax of their treasure to the council. Maybe a blockade on Port Merrick could be enacted for a week. Maybe one week council members go around educating swabbies on how to PvP or how to properly sail their ship. It doesn't all have to be aggressive. It's whatever you guys want it to be. These weekly laws are created and voted on by you, the viewer. And I'm not talking about a poll. Literally you, the person watching this video, could be seated at the council table to pitch an idea. Pretty lofty though, right? Think about it. With enough participants, hundreds or even thousands, all under one banner, enforcing the same laws across all server regions, we could quite literally take ownership over the seas and shape it as we see fit. If successful, something like this could grab games media headlines, bring new players to Sea of Thieves, create strife and competition amongst guilds, and encourage roleplay in the amazing sandbox Rare has created for us. Oh, right, speaking of competitions, if any groups or guilds were to act against the Pirate Council, the Council could vote to place a black spot on them. <gasps> the black spot. This would essentially be a bounty, and members could organize together, alert each other when rivals have been spotted on a server, and join to PvP them within minutes. Nothing toxic, of course, just good old-fashioned PvP. The Council has standards to uphold, after all. And again, this isn't a guild just for PvPers. Any laws are possible. Sky's the limit. It's all voted on by you. Okay, so you probably have a lot of questions. How can we get more than 24 members? How can we organize? How is it decided who gets the vote in the council? Let me break down how this works. Step one, join the Discord in the description and select the council associate reaction in the rules and roles channel. This is totally free to do, no strings attached. Congrats, you're officially a member of the Pirate Council. While you're there, you can hit the bell reaction as well to get Discord notifications the second my stream goes live to stay up to date with all Council matters, but no pressure. Step two, you now have access to the Pirate Council Forum. 
This is where everything takes place and is organized for all members. Check here often to chat with other members, check the weekly mandates, or see if any new black spots have been posted. <gasps> the black spot. Please be sure to remember to read all rule threads first before posting. Step three, now the important bit. Create a guild branch or find one to join. If you aspire to be more than a council associate, members who run a branch of the pirate council with five or more members will become a council officer and unlock extra areas of the council discord. If you have the gold, purchase a new ship of any size and name it Council Enforcer. Follow the cosmetic guidelines listed in the discord to apply the ship uniform and create a guild named the Pirate Council. Again, follow the listed instructions for the logo, colors, motto, etc. Now, if you don't want to run a branch or you don't have the gold and are happy being a trusty council associate, post in the recruitment thread so an aspiring council officer can invite you to their branch. Once a branch leader has five plus members in their guild, you can post in the appropriate promotion thread to apply for a new rank. Step four, branch leaders who fill their entire guild, all 24 slots, will be able to apply to become a council lord. These are the individuals who attend council meetings and bring ideas to the table each week to vote on. They also gain access to the most trusted areas of the council discord. These seats will be first come, first serve, and then a lottery system will be enacted after we have more than 13 lords. Additionally, as an extra incentive, the first 23 council lords will get to be in the very first branch of the Pirate Council, my personal guild. So whether you plan to be a council associate or a prestigious council lord, be sure to save one of your three guild slots for the Pirate Council. What I need from you, viewer, even if you don't play Sea of Thieves anymore, or you never have, please share this video to whoever you can. Tell friends, post on Twitter, Reddit, TikTok, you name it. The more eyeballs on this thing, the more power we'll have together as a community. You may roll your eyes at this idea and think there's no way that we can gain that amount of influence, but just imagine for a second if every person watching this video participated. We could take the world of Sea of Thieves from Rare and give it to the players to change how we see fit, for better or for worse. That, my friends, is entirely up to you. The First Council convenes next Wednesday, one week from today. Start recruiting and think of what laws you'd like to propose. Get to work, and I'll see you in the Inner Sanctum.